Welcome in CatPHP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create CatPHP login. For create CatPHP login, we have to use auth component. So let's see how to use auth component. So for that, at first we have to see our database first. So let's see our database. So you know that we already connected our cat project with our database called Pharma, and this Pharma has a table called users. If you see the users structure. Uh, you will see that there has ID, username, password, email, rule, lots of fields uh, and ID is primary key and the second username is Parker uh, and the password also Parker. In all fields you need uh, on, uh, you have there has need only one information in here the password field should be Parker 100 because in CACPHP we will use uh, uh, we will use the default password hasher for hash password and default password hasher using bcrypt algorithm and uh, for keep safe site you have to use password size 100 for bcrypt algorithm so this is this information actually uh, required in here so i'm just close it and uh, at first i'm going to create my mbc that means model view controller for user stable uh, so for create this I'm just going to open my cat project and in here I'm going to bin in bin I'm going to shift uh, press on my shift key and click on my mouse right button and open command window here I'm going to give a single command get back all users after hit on enter back will complete and I will get a simple layout for users that means users layout in here and you can add your users so this is uh, a simple user uh, i actually uh, using a home layout that's why you are seeing this layout but you will see in your com in your uh, project if you give this command you will see with cat php default layout but I have just removed my default layout here I am using a home layout called uh, home uh, a, I have already created a layout called home that actually I am seeing in here so next thing that I have to go I have to uh, create a user for uh, login so if you want to you create a user then user password should be hash so we have to create something for uh, our pass for make our password hash so for make our password hash we have to create a uh, simple uh, we have to use a simple method uh, in our entity so entity actually is in source and uh, in the source folder there is a folder called model in this model there is a folder called entity and in this entity there is a file called user uh, user.php this, this user.php uh, in this user.php we will use a simple method for hash password so if we just take help from cat php block if you just uh, search in google after type cat or component you will get this page and in the right side there is an option called hashing password after click on this you will get the code for hashing password i have to just use this directory class directory first I'm just going to use this directory in here for default password hasher and second thing that I have to do I have to just take this function from here and just paste it in below so now if we just add a new user from our project I'm just going to take in add a new user called admin password one two three and take a email and a rule status one after submit a password has been submitted you can see the password is hashed in here that means our hash that we have applied in here that has worked so <coughs> we have learned how to create the hash password so this is the first directory that uh, this is the first duty that we have to do before auth component the second thing that we have to do we have to go our app controller and in here we have to load the auth component so you you are sh showing there has already two component by default cat has been loaded 
have to just uh, paste a single line in here and just change the component name to auth after give the auth after load the auth component if you just reload your page you can see in this time this project has redirected to users controller and login method but there has no any login method in my users controller that's why it's giving me a error called missing method so i have to create this method called public function login in my users controller i'm just going to users controller and in top i'm just going to create a method called login now i have to if i just go reload i will see a, another error called missing template that means i have to create a template called login.ctp and catfish we also mentioned the uh, directory where i need to create this login template so let's go in here i'm just going to in my template folder in this template folder there is a folder called users in here i'm just going to create login.ctp after save it if we just see the output we will see this for uh, our default uh, layout i want to use a layout a separate layout for login.ctp so i'm just going to copy this line for change our layout and just paste it in our login method and i want to give this uh, uh, layout name login and i have to create this login layout in layout folder to login.ctp so in template in logout for uh, layout folder we have to create a login.ctp layout and i'm just going to copy the default layout all code and paste it in here and just going to remove the navigation part and save it if we see the output again we will see nothing because we have nothing done in login.ctp so I'm just going to login.ctp file that means users login.ctp here I'm going to create a new form in here for create a new file catpHP has a helper called from helper uh, we are going to use the help from helper for create new form so from for create new form we have to write this from create this method name and if you just write it a form will be created and for int the form we have to just use a method called int to save this if you see the output if you now see using in a spectral element you will see in body tag a form has been created and also this form has been int in below and uh, this is method name is post and the action is users login so now we have to create uh, two field one is called method called control in get php version 3 there is a method called control in from helper and we have to give the parameter called username for username field and we have to create another field called password we have to create another field called for button and in this time method name is button and button name is submit after save if we see the output you will see a username and password has been created a field created and a button also created there is no any design because I have no in, used any design in here uh, so you can use any design in here but in this time you can just uh, a boot is due to uh, here bootstrap already connected so we can just use a well class in here I'm just going to use a well class so it will be left like that now if you send a username and password it will do nothing because we have nothing done in login method so in login method I'm just going to type a simple code like if this 
request and there is a method called is and is method we can uh, give post that means I will uh, accept only post method for login and then I'm going to take a variable called user and I'm going to use a method called identify and this identify under auth components I'm going to auth with the auth and going to use identify this identify method will be uh, return uh, all user information for true and it will return false for uh, wrong username and password so if you just want to see it if you just use cat php uh, method debug in here i'm just going to use debug method and see what will happen after send the username and password so now after reload if you just send a wrong username and password it will return as a false now if we will send correct username and password it will send us all user information without password so if we just get all user information we have to at first set it in session so I'm just going to set it in session this auth uh, set user there is a method in auth component called set user and you have to set user information and then another thing that I wanted to do in here I have to redirect the user this redirect uh, that should be an array action that means after login I want to redirect the user to user index page that I already redirected so if everything is okay now if you see the output I'm just going to reload it and just giving the uh, admin and giving the password after submit it has been redirected us in uh, users index space so our login has been succeed so for logout we have to use public function logout method I'm just creating a logout method and in here I'm just uh, using uh, a return uh, return this redirect this auth logout after save if we just manually just hit on here logout page will log out and go for login page if I just going to add a new user now it will also send us uh, in login page and it will uh, give you give you show you the error message in top now if you give the admin and one two three correct username and password it will go for you reject uh, in index space so this is the basic authentication uh, or auth component in cat php next tutorial we will we will change the default setting for auth component let's see in next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial welcome for the next